Log4j. Let's talk about that. So Log4j or Logforge, depending on how you say it, is something that has been on Twitter and in the news a lot lately, mainly because of a security vulnerability that was discovered that has some huge implications. In this video, let's talk about what Log4j is, what went wrong, and what we can do about it. Log4j is essentially a logger written in Java for Java applications owned by the Apache Foundation and that is open source. For those of you not so familiar with programming, logging is when a program communicates information about its state with the outside world, be it with another machine or with a human. So a common use case is if, if you're running a web server and the server receives a request to an unknown page or route, then this event, the server would probably log like somebody tried to visit slash cheese and you're a vegan, the page doesn't exist. So logging is how we observe the status of our systems. You can imagine logging is used pretty much everywhere in software, big companies, small companies, your mom's company, like it's used everywhere. And because of that, it's something you wanna trust and you hope has no security issues. Let's talk about what happened with Log4j. Essentially, it had a vulnerability that allowed remote code execution. Meaning, using special syntax in the statement that you log, you could just execute whatever code you want on the system that makes, that reports the logs. So it's very similar to using console log, but instead of using quotes, you use backticks. At that point, all it takes is like a dollar sign and curly brackets, and then you can execute whatever you want. Or here's a more fleshed out example. Say we, we have a server and the server receives an HTTP header that is invalid. And so what we wanna do in this case is log that we received a request with an invalid header and this is the value. So we'll do that, we'll say we'll log received unknown header with value and we'll just return the value. We'll reflect the value that we received back to the user. Log4j, allow it if you sent like a bogus header with some value that contains special syntax and then executed malicious code it would just like run this malicious code you can imagine why this is a big problem so this is a big problem one because it's it allows you to do whatever you want on someone else's machine but two it's in use on a lot of machines all over the world where you can sneak your stuff in it's massive and also a lot of people aren't on the latest version with the patch that's why. So what can we do about it? Well, first off, patch your Log4j. There's been an update, it's all good. All you gotta do is keep your software up to date. But to prevent stuff like this from happening in the future, I, I recently made a video about cross-site scripting that kind of touches on these topics. But generally what we wanna do is treat any and all input as hostile. This includes log statements. So what we wanna do is encode everything we receive and then decode them as we need them for our use cases, keeping in mind things like special syntax to prevent stuff like this from happening in the future. That's generally the gist of it. I'm sure there's things I missed or things I could do better. If you have any thoughts of your own about this, opinions, critiques, praise, whatever, leave us a note in the comments or at me on Twitter. For now, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.